Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial from Rethis.com. In this tutorial, let's look at a simple concept called variable arguments. So, what is a variable argument? I mean, where does this where args come from? Um, that's what we'll discuss in this video. So, I'm actually creating a small example like I'm saying variable arguments example that's the name of the class I'm creating an instance of that class and calling a method called sum so if you look at this sum I want this sum method to accept any number of parameters I sometimes I might pass no parameters sometimes I might pass three parameters sometimes I might actually want to be able to call this with let's say uh, one parameter so I would want to do sum of one value or sum of two values sum of three values four values so on so uh, java like came up with this variable argument when it saw the need for methods like this so uh, the basic thing is a variable argument method would be able to accept uh, any number of arguments so uh, the most important thing is the type of the argument should match so but it can accept any number of arguments uh, let's now go ahead and define the sum method which would be able to accept uh, this variable argument so I'll go ahead and say create a method sum it's creating an int 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 sum but what I want is actually to use the variable arguments I'll remove the next two ones and I would want I would want to call this numbers the way you would make a parameter as variable argument or where args is by adding three dots so that just makes it as a variable argument if you look at compilation errors everything has disappeared I would want to return an int back here so and I can't return I'll return a minus one back but now you look at the other compilation errors have all disappeared and now as soon as I declare the sum with the variable arguments it's actually now being able to accept no parameters one parameter four parameters and three parameters so that's basically the beauty of the variable arguments it lets you to accept any number of parameters and now once we are inside a method which is using a variable argument the variable argument is almost very similar to an array so I have something called numbers dot length which gives me the length number of variable arguments passed so if I want to find out number of parameters which are passed I can use numbers dot length to find it what I want to do is this sum so I'll use the enhanced for loop and as for loop also can be used around the uh, variable argument so I'll say number colon numbers it's this exactly the way you would handle an array so I would say sum plus is equal to number obviously I have to create the variable sum so let's go ahead and do that quickly Control one create local variable sum. Okay, it's not good. Create series. sorry. Simple way in sum is equal to zero, sum plus is equal to number, and let's return sum back. And let's run this. So that's perfect. All the tests succeeded and this is good. So uh, that's about variable arguments. Uh, a few words of caution as well. You can't have variable arguments as, so if I want to have, let's say, argument after a variable argument in num, that's not allowed. If you look at the, what it says, is the variable argument, if you look at the error which you get, this, it says, variable argument type sh must be the last parameter so that's very very important your variable argument if you want to have multiple variables uh, in the parameters and you want to use a variable argument you can only have one variable argument and that too at the end so now what happens is the first value whichever is passed comes to num and the last three values goes to the variable arg if you look at this right now the sum gives you an error because it expects at least one parameter because now what we have changed the definition to is to expect a int num so this parameter should be passed 
variable arguments can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is a word of, uh, that is an important thing to remember about variable arguments. You should have variable arguments only at the end of the parameter or argument list. Okay, uh, that is all I have to share about variable arguments. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, do not forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.